As the Mayflower 2 departed Mystic, Connecticut last summer, she did so to great fanfare. Flying from her main and foremasts were two five foot by eight foot flags, one the cross of St. George, the other the king's colors. Perhaps many that gathered for this historic send off never thought twice about the history of these two flags. That is, except for those working behind the walls of Brewer Banner Design in New Bedford. It's here where those flags flying from the Mayflower were handmade. These are things that are done waiting to go out. Penny Brewer started this flag banner and wall hanging company back in 1984. The daughter of sailors and one time art school teacher first started crafting personalized banners for family and friends. Soon, a fledgling flag business was born. Some people started to commission uh, fla me to make flags or their wedding or this and that. This and that has taken the form of many shapes and sizes over the years. And just recently, Hollywood came calling. Penny and her team recreating huge 34 starred linen American flags for the Apple TV series Dickinson. The flags will be used to drape the coffins of soldiers killed in the Civil War. And whether it's movie producers or the school down the street, Brewer Banner is always busy. Some weeks we'll make one or two if they're really complicated. And then some weeks we'll make, you know, 60 because they're just little uh, burgies or yacht clubs and things. Penny stresses she's committed to creating a quality product, but she can fly her flag of excellence based on the understanding of a customer's unique needs. A lot of times you're working as a translator for people. They have an idea, you know, they want to convey, but they don't know how to convey it graphically. Penny also has a panache for being historically accurate with her craft. In fact, the oldest two-masted schooner in the entire United States is the Louis R. French out of Camden, Maine. And she also sails with flags from Brewer Banner. I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, News Center 5.